in the hazy corridors of nostalgia, where the sepia tones of yesteryears brush against the canvas of memory, lies the indelible imprint of a cinematic era that soared above the clouds. Imagine, if you will, the year 1951A time when the silver screen flickered with the promise of the extraordinary, and in that luminescent tapestry emerged Superman and the Mole Men. For those fortunate souls whose first gaze upon the Man of Steel unfolded in the shadows of a bygone theater, the sensory symphony of that encounter remains eternally vivid. Perhaps it was the crackle of popcorn, the soft rustle of anticipation, or the collective intake of breath as Superman graced the screen with a presence that transcended mere fiction. A symphony that crescendoed with the arrival of the Mole Men, their strange and endearing silhouettes etching themselves into the viewer's consciousness. Memories, like treasures, emerge from the vaults of personal history. What scenes etched themselves into the canvas of your recollection during that inaugural rendezvous with Superman and the Mole Men? Was it the iconic cape billowing in the wind, or the palpable tension as the hero faced the subterranean envoys with a courage that echoed through the ages? And so, as we stand at the crossroads of reminiscence, let us delve deeper into the annals of this cinematic gem. Beyond the surface narrative lies a trove of random facts, each a gleaming facet in the crown of Superman's enduring legacy. These are the anecdotes that breathe life into the celluloid hero, revealing the tapestry behind the spectacle. From behind the scenes quirks to the nuances that escape the casual eye, these nuggets paint a richer portrait of a time when the caped crusader first graced the cinematic stage. As we embark on this journey through time and celluloid, let the magic of that initial encounter with Superman and the Mole Men guide our steps. For in the interplay of memory and revelation, we find the true essence of a cultural touchstone that endures across the ages. So, my fellow voyagers, buckle up for a flight through the silver skies of nostalgia as we unravel the enigma that is Superman and the mole men where celluloid dreams meet the pulse of human recollection. Superman and the Mole Men is a 1951 black and white film that served as the first cinematic portrayal of the iconic superhero, Superman. Originally conceived as a two-part pilot for the Adventures of Superman television series, this 58-minute feature was subsequently edited into a standalone film. The storyline revolves around Superman, played by George Reeves, who intervenes when a group of mole-like creatures from deep within the Earth's crust are discovered in a small American town. The film carries the quintessential elements of the Superman mythos, including his incredible powers and unwavering commitment to justice. Notably, Superman and the Mole Men laid the foundation for George Reeves' memorable portrayal of Superman, which became a pivotal influence on future depictions of the character. This movie's simple yet powerful narrative style helped establish the enduring appeal of Superman in popular culture and marked the character's transition from comic books to live-action entertainment. Its impact is evident in the subsequent development of the adventures of Superman TV series and the broader superhero genre in film and television. All in all, Superman and the Mole Men is a classic that introduced the Man of Steel to the big screen leaving a lasting legacy in the world of superheroes and cinema. The 1951 movie Superman and the Mole Men marked a notable entry in the Superman film series. Notably, it was the first of only three live-action theatrical Superman films that did not feature his iconic foe, Lex Luthor. The other two films without Lex Luthor are Superman 3 from 1983 and Man of Steel from 2013. Moreover, this film holds historical significance as it featured Jeff Corey in one of his final roles before being blacklisted by the House Committee on Un-American Activities in 1951. Corey's next on-screen appearance came almost a decade later in the short film Inside Magu in 1960. Superman and the Mole Men is an important piece of cinematic history in the Superman franchise. It's a noteworthy film for its departure from the typical inclusion of Lex Luthor and for its connection to the McCarthy-era blacklisting of actors like Jeff Corey. In 1951, the movie Superman and the Mole Men made its mark in the world of cinema. This 58-minute film is the shortest in the Superman series. It starred George Reeves, who, at 37 years old, became one of the oldest actors to make his live-action debut as Clark Kent, Superman. Kirk Allen was the same age when he first took on this role in the 1948 Superman movie. The interesting thing about Superman and the Mole Men is that it was originally created by National Publishing, 
which is now known as DC Comics. They used this film as a calling card to pitch the idea of bringing Superman to television for the first time. The networks were their primary target, and the theatrical release of the film was more of a backup plan to recover production costs. If the TV project didn't pan out, this movie, though short in duration, played a pivotal role in the history of Superman on screen. It paved the way for George Reeves to become an iconic Superman, and laid the groundwork for future adaptations. Even in its brevity, Superman and the Mole Men left a lasting legacy in the world of superhero cinema. The 1951 movie Superman and the Mole Men holds a special place in cinematic history. It's the first feature-length film based on DC Comics characters, bringing the iconic Superman to the big screen. But what sets this movie apart is the absence of familiar elements like Perry White, The Daily Planet, and Metropolis. In this film, director Lee Sholem faced some unexpected challenges during production. Stuntmen were involved in a fight scene that went awry. Surprisingly, both Phillies Coates, who portrayed Lois Lane, and George Reeves, who played Clark Kent and Superman, were knocked unconscious on the same day due to these unfortunate incidents. The absence of Perry White, The Daily Planet, and Metropolis in Superman, and The Mole Men gives the film a unique flavor. Unlike other Superman adaptations, this one focuses on a small town where the Man of Steel encounters a group of mole-like creatures. It's a departure from the typical bustling city setting, making it an interesting departure from the usual Superman narratives. In conclusion, Superman and the Mole Men is notable for several reasons. It marked the first feature-length film based on DC Comics characters, and deviated from the familiar Superman story by excluding key elements like Perry White and Metropolis. The film also had its share of real-life drama when both George Reeves and Philly's coats were not cold during stunt scenes. These factors combined to make the 1951 film a unique and memorable addition to the Superman legacy. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the iconic 1951 movie, Superman and the Mole Men, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with this timeless classic. This film, released more than seven decades ago, continues to resonate with audiences across the generations. It's a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the undying appeal of a hero who stands for truth, justice, and the American way. Perhaps you watched this film as a child, eyes wide with wonder as you witnessed Superman's unwavering commitment to defending the innocent, even when faced with the strangest of adversaries. Or maybe you discovered it later in life, and its messages of tolerance and acceptance struck a chord with you in a world that can sometimes feel divided. Whether you remember it for its groundbreaking special effects of the time, George Reeves' iconic portrayal of the Man of Steel, or the subtle yet profound social commentary woven into the narrative, Superman and the Mole Men has left its mark on countless hearts. Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or personal connections to this film. What did it mean to you? How has it influenced your perception of heroism and justice? Feel free to join the conversation and celebrate the enduring legacy of this cinematic gem. Thank you for accompanying us on this cinematic journey and for your time and interest in our exploration of Superman and the Mole Men. Your engagement enriches the tapestry of this enduring classic. Until our next adventure in storytelling, keep the spirit of Superman alive within you.